Hey everyone, here's another video for you. Today, I will walk you through the process of creating a texture that looks like frozen glass. We're going to create three different styles. We're not going to need any additional plugin. So let's jump straight into Photoshop. All right, so let's open the photo that we want to edit and we're going to have to create a new document that is the exact size as the source image. So for that, we're going to choose the selection tool, command A to select everything, command C to copy, to make a new file. And because we have copied the photo, we have this clipboard setting for the size and that's the exact height and width of the photo. So we have a new file, a white canvas, select the brush tool. Let's use the brush number one and we're going to start painting across the canvas, choose the color of your brush to be black and let's see how this looks like this is basically going to determine the way the effect is going to look on the photo if you want to quickly switch the colors of your brush to black and white you can hit d on your keyboard now that we have drawn the splashes go ahead save the file as a psd file we're going to name this frozen glass texture one let's go back to our photo unlock the background layer convert this into a smart object so we can make edits later head to filter filter gallery and apply the glass filter click on this small icon and select low texture and we're going to import the texture we have just created hit load let's zoom out a bit i'm going to put the distortion all the way to 20 while keeping a small value for the smoothness that's actually what's giving that frosty look to the photo for the scaling it's best to keep it at 100 since the size of the texture is basically the exact size as the photo but if you make it smaller or bigger be aware that there are going to be some lines on the texture that you're going to have to fix afterwards awesome now let's create another file and this time we're going to use the second brush to paint across the canvas after that we save it we're going to name this frozen glass texture number two go back to the photo double click on this filter gallery smart filter to make changes we're going to select the other texture and this one is going to look something like this have a distortion all the way to the max smoothness to a small value something around two three or even one for the scaling i changed the scaling to be 83 percent and as we can see we have this line right here that we're going to have to fix last but not least let's try out the third brush this one creates these frosted snowflakes so again back to our file double click on the filter select the third texture and then let's make some changes for this one i'll choose the smoothness to be one looks pretty cool if we zoom in we can see all the details in the frozen snowflakes texture so yeah this was pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching if you like what you see on our channel make sure you subscribe go ahead and like this video post a comment if you have any observations ideas for the next videos or things like that and i'll see you in the next one have a great day